Hey friends, it's Jessie and welcome back to the channel. Today I am doing a slightly different video. I'm doing more of a makeup haul video. I have placed a couple makeup orders recently. I've been really good about not purchasing anything until this kind of like beginning of fall. A lot of stuff was coming out that really interested me and I, I splurged a little bit. So I did place an Ulta order and then I also have a Lethal Cosmetics order that I placed about a month ago that's come in. So I just wanted to share everything I've picked up. If you're curious to see what I've picked up uh, during the 21 Days Beauty Sale and what I've just been using in general, then keep on watching. Let's go ahead and start with my Ulta purchases. So I did pick up quite a few items. There is a ColourPop collection that I picked up. Y'all know I'm a ColourPop ho. Uh, but I think the most exciting thing that I picked up is the Too Faced Holiday Collection. So I did pick up both the Too Faced Cinnamon Swirl Palette and the Cinnamon Bun Melted Matte Lipstick. I am so, so excited about these. Let me pull them out and show them to you. So this is the Cinnamon Swirl Palette. I love the Too Faced Holiday Palettes. I have both the Gingerbread Spice Palettes. I didn't pick up the Pumpkin Spice or the Pumpkin Pie Palette last year, and I still regret that. So I figured I would regret if I did not pick up the Cinnamon Swirl Palette. And it's a very, very basic neutral palette. There's like a pop of purple, but it's it's super basic. Nothing crazy, but I really like the formula of these. And it smells so good. It smells like a Michael's Craft Store. Um, so I did want to pick this one up. Oh, you can see like all the, the, the other goodies I picked up. Um, but I think it's just super cute. I'm super excited to play around with this. And then of course I got the matching lipstick to go with it. I think at one point I had a couple of these melted matte lipsticks. Um, but I've since decluttered all of them. So I wanted to get both of these. I do plan on filming a video with this this weekend. So you should see that next week. I will link it down below if you're interested. The next thing I picked up from Ulta is from Ofra. And this is the Ofra by Samantha March highlighter. It's the Start Inspired highlighter. So this was a collab she came out with, I think last year or the year before. And it's something that I've had on my wish list for a while and just never picked up. It's just this really pretty gold pink highlighter. I really like the Ofra highlights. I really like Samantha March. I'm really vibing with her a lot right now since she's moved to Vegas and she's just like living her best life. So I wanted to pick this up in support of her. I'm super excited about this one. And the last thing before I jump into the ColourPop, I did pick up this uh, brush set from Real Techniques, I believe. There is more brushes than this. I've just used them already and they are dirty, but I wasn't planning on picking this up. I don't need any brushes. I did want to color switch though and they had a brush set that had a color switch in it. So I thought these were pretty cute. It has this color switch so I can just like clean my brushes. Um, so I did pick this one up as well. Plus it had a coupon. So I saved $3 and 50 cents on this one. I know this was in collaboration with someone and I can't remember who it was, but I will link this in the description box below. I will link everything down below in case you're interested in checking any of these out. From ColourPop, I got a couple pairs of lashes. I really like the ColourPop lashes. Uh, I got the Style Queenie. These are some of my favorites. I have a couple pairs of these already that are literally falling apart. I've used them so many times. And then I got the Style Bay, which I think I might have used in the past, um, but I thought these are really cute as well. So I wanted to pick up both pairs. My lashes, I haven't bought new lashes in literally forever, and they are atrocious right now. The main thing I got from ColourPop is the Sonic Bloom palette. This is their fall palette for this year. Look how pretty the colors are and just the packaging. I do plan on doing a video with this collection as well, but look how pretty this middle row. It's just beautiful. I am super, super excited. I actually saw this in the Ulta store yesterday and it took everything in me not to purchase it because I knew it was going to be delivered today. So. I really, really like this. I am so, so excited for these fall tones. It's now September. This is just giving me September realness. And I think this has to be some of my favorite packaging from ColourPop. From the same collection, I did get a couple of the Cheek Dews. So I got the shades Hotline and Bubbles. I have not tried these. They're a serum blush. I've heard mixed things about them. Some people love them and some people hate them. Um, but I did want to try both of these. Um, I'm actually going to swatch some right now because I think that'll be fun. Oh, look at they have like little, what are those? Like the little things you get on toothpaste tubes. I don't know how I feel about it. I'm excited to try these though. I think this will be fun. I think so I got, that was the shade Hotline and then Bubbles was the other one. These are a lot smaller than I thought they were, which is good because I'd hate to buy like a huge product and not go through it. Okay, and then this is the shade Bubbles, which I also really like that one. The next thing from the Sonic Bloom collection I got are three of the, I think these are the Fresh Kiss uh, Glossy Lip Stains. Um, I 
have been liking a lot of the new products from ColourPop recently and this is one of those lip products that I have not tried yet. So I picked up the shades. This one is Tutti Fruity. It's kind of like a deep berry, almost brown. I'm trying to see if you can kind of like see that. Um, and then I also got, uh, this is Flower Lust, which is kind of like a mauvey pink. And this last one is Big Apple, which is more of like a true red. I felt like that was a pretty good variety of shades to pick up so I could try the formula and see what I think about it. Um, I am kind of curious about it. I think I'm going to swatch this one too. So I think the point of these is that they're supposed to look, look like a lip gloss, um, but as they wear off through the day, they stain your lips. So you still have pigment on there. So I'm super excited about these. I think they'll be great, especially now that we're kind of moving back into more of the masks with COVID. I think it'll be perfect for um, long, 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 longevity when things last a long time. I don't know how to say that word. And the last thing I got are three of the color sticks. Oh my gosh, the print is different on like all three of these. So this one has like more bubble letters and these are more of like Times New Roman letters. That's weird. Um, but I did try some of the color sticks from the ColourPop uh, Powerpuff Girls collection and I actually really liked that. That was one of my favorite pieces from the collection. So when I saw that they came out with the new shades, I wanted to pick up some new ones because I really, really like these. I think these are really nice. So I picked up three different shades. I'm just swatching them quick for you. So I picked up three different shades of the color sticks. So this first shimmery one, this one is in the shade Happy Days and it's just this really pretty almost like mauvey rose gold. The second shade is the brown shade which is Coffee Shop. So this middle one, Coffee Shop, it's more of like just a true brown. I thought that would be fun for doing like faux liners or smoking out looks. And then the last one I got, this last kind of berry shade is called Bittersweet. And I thought that would be really pretty. This one kind of gave me like naked cherry vibes was kind of what I was feeling. I think it'll be fun to play with these. I'm super, super excited about them. I also just realized I did not put on lipstick and I just filmed 10 minutes of this haul already. So those are the color sticks. Again, super, super excited to play with those. One of my favorite new ColourPop products. I did pick up two other palettes. These ones I actually purchased from the ColourPop site and I purchased these probably like a month and a half ago, but I figured I would include them anyway because I haven't been doing a ton of makeup purchases. So try and make this video as interesting as possible. I have not used either of these yet. The first one I got is the Lush Life palette. This one I was really excited for like these really vibrant tropical jewel tones. Um, and I do want to try this one out a lot. This fall is currently my everyday makeup drawer with my pan those eyeshadows. So I remember to use it. And then the other one is the So Very Lovely palette. And this one's more of like the springy. This is more of like the romantic fall colors in my opinion. I mean, if you take away that purple, I think it's a really, really pretty fall palette. If you take away the purple, I think it's a really pretty fall palette. So I am excited about this one as well. These were both on my wish list for a while. So I'm glad that I picked those up. And the last package that I received is my Lethal Cosmetics order. I wanted to try Lethal Cosmetics for like literally over a year and I just could never justify it until Lethal Cosmetics and Teresa is Dead collabed. So this is the Lethal is Dead palette. I love Teresa is Dead so of course I wanted to get it in support of her and this is what it looks like. Beautiful grungy fun colors. I do plan on filming a video tutorial with this one as well but this is what she looks like. These shadows are insane quality. I have not tried the other palette I picked up yet, um, but if it's anything like this, I think this is definitely one of my favorite eyeshadow formulas by far. The other palette I picked up is the Lethal After Dark palette, and this one's more of like, I think they're like 90s or 80s inspired color story, so it's like all those neons and vibrants. It reminds me a lot of like the ColourPop like Y2K collection. So I am super excited to try this one out as well. I haven't tried this one yet, only the other one, but look at these shades, they're so pretty, and the shimmers. And last but not least, I got two of these gel eyeliners from Lethal. So I got a white one, which is called Buffer, and then a neon pink, which is called Bit Crush. I think both of these came with the uh, After Dark palette or like the After Dark palette collection. Um, I am so sorry about the people mowing the lawn. It's like literally 6 p.m. I don't know why people are mowing the lawn at 6 p.m. I really like the Melt Gel Liner pots, so I wanted to try another formula. I just, it's my favorite form of eyeliner. I love it. Well, that is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed my little haul. Let me know what you're picking up, if you're picking up anything during the Ulta sale, and let me know what you'd like to see videos on next. I will see you guys all in the next one. Bye, friends!